Welcome to a presentation on vitreous floaters brought to you by your neighborhood doctors. Please remember that we will cover the topic in general terms. Please consult your doctors for specific questions pertaining to you. Vitreous floaters can be thought of like a bug in your eye. Just like a bug flying around in the air. Vitreous floaters are small particles that float around in the vitreous humor, which is the gel-like substance that fills the back of your eye. These particles cast shadows on your retina, which is what you see as floaters. Floaters can appear as spots, threads, or cobwebs, and can move around when you move your eyes. Vitreous floaters are a common eye condition that can cause a variety of symptoms. The most common symptom is the appearance of small, dark spots or cobweb-like strands in your field of vision. These spots or strands may appear to move when you move your eyes, and they may be more noticeable when you look at a bright background, such as a white wall or blue sky. You may also experience flashes of light in your peripheral vision, which can be caused by the vitreous gel tugging on the retina. Other symptoms include blurred vision, double vision, and difficulty focusing on close objects. If you experience any of these symptoms, it is important to see an eye doctor for an evaluation. Vitreous floaters are a common eye condition that can affect people of all ages, genders, and backgrounds. It is most commonly seen in people over the age of 40, but it can also occur in younger individuals. People who are nearsighted or have had cataract surgery are more likely to experience vitreous floaters. Additionally, those with diabetes or other inflammatory conditions may be at an increased risk for developing this condition. Vitreous floaters are caused by changes in the vitreous humor, which is the gel-like substance that fills the inside of your eye. As we age, this gel can become more liquid and can form clumps or strands that cast shadows on your retina. These clumps or strands are what we call vitreous floaters. In some cases, these floaters can be caused by inflammation or bleeding in the eye, but this is usually not the case. When it comes to treating vitreous floaters, the most common approach is to simply observe them and monitor any changes in their size or frequency. In some cases, laser treatment may be used to break up the floaters and make them less noticeable. This procedure is called laser vitreolysis and is usually done on an outpatient basis. It involves using a laser to break up the floaters into smaller pieces that are less visible. In more severe cases, surgery may be necessary to remove the floaters from the eye. This procedure is called a vitrectomy and involves removing the vitreous gel from the eye and replacing it with a saline solution. This procedure can be done on an outpatient basis as well, but it carries a higher risk of complications than laser treatment. It's important to note that vitreous floaters are not usually dangerous and do not typically require treatment. However, if you experience any sudden changes in your vision, or if your floaters become more frequent or bothersome, you should contact your doctor right away for further evaluation. The prognosis for vitreous floaters is generally good. In most cases, the floaters will not cause any permanent damage to your vision and will not require treatment. However, if the floaters become more numerous or interfere with your vision, you may need to seek medical attention. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to remove the floaters from the eye. Surgery is usually successful in improving vision and reducing the number of floaters. Thank you for listening to this presentation brought to you by Talking Raymond. For information, check us out retinally.com info. Be safe. Love you.